What's going on, geeks and gamers? It's Odin coming back with another video, and today we've got a box office breakdown featuring the films Dune, No Time to Die, and Venom. Before diving further into this review, though, please make sure that you smash that like button and also make sure that you hit that bell notification and also that you're subscribed to the channel, so that way you know every time a new video and live stream goes live on the channel. So, as I have been saying for a while now, but some people have been fighting me on this point as far as Dune is concerned, Dune was not able to even hit $300 million internationally this weekend, adding only another $40 million or so onto its um, onto its total number. Uh, again, about another $20 plus million from all of the international markets and another $15 million on in addition to in all of the rather domestic uh, theaters and the domestic totals up to this point. It actually saw a pretty uh, fair drop off in its second weekend, which of course was to be expected. It is fighting itself at HBO Max, but it has not reached a number that gives me any confidence that the film is going to be able to produce enough money to make profitability. Now, that does not mean that this film is not going to continue to have the sequel, as again, it has been officially greenlit for a sequel. Obviously, when it comes to Warner Brothers, they're probably looking at the numbers that they're getting on HBO Max, which to my knowledge have not yet been released in any official capacity. I know that there have been some third-party services that have reported on their numbers, but HBO Max has not really, um, you know, Warner Brothers has not really talked that much about the official numbers, but there must be good enough and there must be enough going on there for them to have some confidence, of course, also having Legendary as a partner, uh, which is funding most of uh, not just this film, but also likely will fund most of part two as well, is probably one of the reasons why they have indeed greenlit it. But that does not mean that it's going to be financially successful. And at this point, it is looking and uh, again, it's got to make another hundred plus million dollars at this point after two weeks domestically where it's starting to fall off and it's about to have a lot of competition with other films set to come out in the month of November. And it is slowing down very much in the international marketplace because it's been out in so many major countries internationally for a long time now. And it's not really making a whole lot in the newer markets that it's in. All that to say, No Time to Die has now crossed six hundred million dollars in its global release and is still a financial flop. Because the film costs so much to make and the marketing for the film likely costs much more than even the standard projections. And so this film, again, even a conservative estimate needs to make around $750 million worldwide to break even. And it's not looking like it's going to actually reach that by the end goal. All the while, Venom 2 has actually done a pretty good job getting very close to $400 million and continuing to make some profits there. So going into the actual chart, as you can see, Dune... Coming in at number one once again this weekend with $15.5 million domestically. 62% drop. They were projecting a 55%, so it actually did worse than what they thought. Now at $69.4 million domestically, that means that it's likely going to be difficult for this film to cross the $100 million mark uh, domestically, which is not the end-all be-all, but because it's not doing insanely well in any other international market really at this point, in comparison to some of the other films that come out this year, or at least doesn't have, uh, because it doesn't have the domestic market to make up for po poor performance or mediocre performance in certain markets overseas. It really has no cash coming from anywhere specifically to be able to make its money. Halloween Kills with another $8.5 in its third week. Uh, again, very strong uh, hold with a 41% drop in its third weekend. So it's starting to lose theaters, but still making money. And again, because this film costs so little to make, around $20 million, it is making massive profits. Already was profitable after its opening weekend. No Time to Die still coming in at the number three slot, even though it's been out for four weeks with another $7.8 million, and so this film is still making some money, but still has a long way to go before getting anywhere close to profitability. If you want to have any more uh, insight into some of the other films that have come out this weekend, or some of the other films that I've mentioned previously on other box office reviews, check out my channel, OMB Reviews, for a full box office breakdown over there. So let's go ahead and look to these individual films. So Dune, as I said, $292.1 million worldwide. I had mentioned this on Friday Night Tights that if the film got to around $300 million, it would not be a good sign. If it got to $350 million worldwide, then it would kind of show that there is a strength still to this film overseas. That did not really take place at all, and that is the reason why I'm basically projecting that this film will be a financial loss for Warner Brothers for Legendary. And again, obviously it gets a little bit convoluted because of them splitting the uh, actual 
uh, budget, right, as far as the money that was put into the film itself. It has been officially greenlit for a sequel, but that does not mean that, as I said, based on the raw box office numbers, that it's in any good position to actually break even or make money. It's, again, well over $100 million away from that point in time. And the other reason why I think that there is reason to have some concern here is because Dune only added 21 point. Four million in 75 offshore markets. So it's open up in 75 countries, only brought in $21.4 million. And again, it's been out in several of those countries for a while, but it did open up in uh, a pretty good amount, like 10 to 15 other countries as of last weekend when it came out here domestically as well. So the fact that it has dropped off about maybe 50% or so from what it brought in then, again, it brought in around $45, $47 million in all of the markets last weekend. So we're seeing, again, about a 50% drop off in those week in those markets. Overall, it is holding very well in certain countries. It is, again, kind of acting similar in certain countries, and it's also underperforming in certain countries. So basically, it's a bit of a mixed bag when you look at it. Obviously, if you break down this by individual countries, some people say, well, it's doing better in France. It's been out for a very long time, and, you know, it's doing better in, in these specific countries. But it's the actual raw numbers that matter, right? It's the total numbers that matter, not how well it's doing in like for like markets, right? So you look at here and say that it's roughly on par with Tenet. Tenet was a financial failure this year. Uh, Shang-Chi, it's doing 56% better then. But as I said, Shang-Chi, and I've mentioned this before, had a huge domestic release. It was able to make well over $200 million domestically, which is what brought that film into profitability. Uh, Black Widow, once again, because especially of the lawsuit with... Um, with Scarlett Johansson likely cutting into any of the Disney Plus numbers really is also kind of on that borderline of profitability, right? Barely breaking even, making making a little bit of money potentially. And it's saying that it's run 84% hotter than Denis Villeneuve's Blade Run 2049, which is not saying much because that film was also a pretty, uh, a pretty big financial failure as well. So looking at the numbers as they currently stand uh, for these movies specifically, as you can see, for No Time to Die, the film costs... Again, around $300 million, meaning that the actual uh, net cost caught, uh, costs around $450 million with marketing. And again, this is much more of a conservative number. This is not including any additional cost for reshoots or additional marketing. I know that people have mentioned this before. So based on the numbers reported, though, it means the break-even number is around $750 million. And right now is at an $86 million loss. Now, what is worth noting is that it is performing relatively well as far as the week-to-week -week numbers go. This is obviously one of the stronger films to come out this year. There really aren't any other films that have gotten to the $600 million with the fat, with really the only exception being uh, Fast and Furious 9, which made around $716 million worldwide. So there is no doubt that No Time to Die is one of the most successful films on paper as far as actual raw box office is concerned. But net gain, net profit after you take away the cost and take away the marketing, still a massive loss right now. $86 million currently is the loss for that film. All the while, as I mentioned with Dune, right now $292 million, only $72 million loss, but still enough of a loss for this film, uh, obviously, for the studios to maybe, and, and this is the reason why it's important, I think, obviously, it's been greenlit for a sequel, but how much money will that sequel get? Will Denis Villeneuve get all the resources that he needs to be able to do all the things that he wants to do for that film? That is a question that we just don't have the answer to, and it's going to be what this film is able to do and able to produce in any type of box office profit margin breakdown that is going to be able to determine that, and right now, it is not looking like it's going to bring in any type of profit margins for them. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, with No Time to Die, now at $605 million over, um, again, worldwide. Again, not doing as well domestically as some other films, like, for instance, Shang-Chi, but doing well enough internationally to bring the film very, very close to what we would think would be successful, but still has a very long way to go nonetheless. I did mention Venom as well. $395 million so far that film has made overseas. This is uh, my full box office chart <laughs> and again it kind of gets a little crazy which is why i try and make it a little bit simpler with this one even though this can be complex from time to time but venom 2 as i mentioned 395 million 72 million dollars uh, as far as actual net gain net profit uh, and this film obviously is still getting released in different countries still making some money so likely we'll get a little bit more as it goes on in its release going to easily pass 400 million dollars and who knows exactly what that film will end at but what we can say is that dune 
is in a position where not going to be financially um, successful as far as what the numbers are being reported as right now. Also, No Time to Die pretty much at this point. We can also say the film's not going to reach the number it needs to break even, whereas Venom, again, <laughs> this film that's going to make maybe half of what the original did and yet somehow did more in its opening weekend than the original did. Uh, obviously, it is something worth mentioning and worth talking about. But what are your thoughts about this? Are you surprised that Dune is not doing uh, very well at the box office? Again, in comparison to how much the film cost. Yes, I know. People are going to say, we'll got greenlit for a sequel. And even though I mentioned that a few times, people will still put that in the comment section. Yes, it did. But how much money is that sequel going to get? How much money does Neville Neff need to make the film good? Or is he going to be cut at the knees and being given less money because the film was not a financial success unless there is money coming in from HBO Max that we just don't know about. But again, how could we, seeing that they have not reported this information at this point? So what are your thoughts about this? And also, of course, No Time to Die. Do you think that No Time to Die is going to pull out a miracle and make another $150 million it needs to break even? I, I just I doubt it. But hey, Stranger things, I guess, have happened. But let me know your thoughts and all of these things, as I mentioned in the comment section below. If you like this video, smash that like button. It really does mean a lot. You're all amazing and beautiful people. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, God bless.